Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is chapter 802. Now, I'm just gonna be seriously honest with you guys. Like, um, the moment I just finished reading this chapter, I literally went, what the F was that? <laughs> Alright? Because... I was pretty shocked and surprised myself of what the heck is going on here, you know? And I'm thinking in my mind, are you serious right now? Like, um, is this guy real serious? Or something, you know? So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning of the chapter, we have to it that, um, Luffy and the Bartomeo Luffy Club, whatever you want to call them, apparently, they are pretty much going through a certain storm right now to reach the certain island called Zo, you know? And... They are, they are going into storms right now while Luffy's screaming out Nami to save him, you know. But apparently she's not there, Luffy. Hello, are you okay? Well, he is okay, but yeah, you get the point. Anyways, as the, episode, as the chapter continues, we get to see Barcelona or Kizaru, Admiral Kizaru. It's been a while since I saw this fool and he seems laid back as ever. And we get to see to it that the Marines are reporting in about reporting in about a couple of white beard about a couple of white beard pirates, you know, Marco the Phoenix, etc., etc. Well, uh, no, actually, Marco the Phoenix was not really mentioned in there. Sorry, forgive me. Anyways, we have to it that Bar Barcelona ends up telling telling the t ends up asking about this white beard fella, and I'm thinking in my mind, what? Who? What are you talking about? Apparently, there's this person saying that he's the flesh and blood of Whitebeard, apparently, and he is pretty much one of them, um, strong pirates right now. Even if the rumors are not true or something, his strength is something not to be messed with or something. It's something not to be underestimated. And we get to see this self-proclaimed Whitebeard son, Whitebeard Jr., and he is... He does have that certain height, though I highly doubt it. He looks like some big fat soul maniac carrying a weapon that looks like white beard, like a bicento, if I remember correctly. And I'm thinking in my mind, like, Doc, are you really going that far to s tell yourself self-proclaimed white beard? And we have to it that his mama is the self-proclaimed wife of white beard and I'm thinking in my mind yo are we really going to go there please don't just don't please <laughs> I just don't want to even think about it apparently this white beard junior white beard junior self proclaimed proclaimed wants to take revenge on blackbeard and I can't blame him for that but yeah Anyways, as the chapter continues, as I read, we have to it that um, there's some news about Marco the Phoenix, Dolph Mingo being defeated, Garp Sun, which is referred to Luffy, and so forth. Speaking of which, going back to Luffy, Trafalgar Law, Zoro, and the other remaining straw hats heading to Zo, surprisingly enough, we get to know that um, that they are uh, after going through so much weather discrepancies or problems along the way. We have to it that they reached the island Zo, but apparently it is not, it is something that I did not realize right now up to this point. I thought Zo was just going to be an island, but instead it's not an island. It's a freaking elephant that has its back on the island or the island on top of the elephant's back or something. And I'm thinking in my mind, Holy crackalack, what the freaking heck. That is really surprising. An island on top of an elephant's back is to my shock. Reminds me of a certain reminds me of a certain animal that carries a freaking city. Like I can make a reference right there, like um Aladdin and the King of Thieves. If you guys remember that turtle carrying that city on its back, you know? You guys get my point. I was pretty shocked, by the way, and we have to it that the straw that Luffy, Trafalgar Law, Nico Robin, Frankie, Zoro are about to get ready to go on there and meet up with the other rest of the Straw Hats, and hopefully some questions will be answered. 
So overall, the chapter shows that Luffy and Trafalgar Law and the, and the other Straw Hats are like going to the island Zoe, and they reach there at the end of the chapter, and surprisingly enough, it took them about like a week or so to get over there. Selpla Crane's Whitebeard Jr. What the hell, man? I'm thinking in my mind, what is this? No, literally, I don't like, what is this? And so forth. And three. We get to see Barcel Barcel Kizaru, you know, and so forth. Seems like events are starting to like be all right on a certain point, but yeah. Overall, you know, it looks like the straw. It looks like Luffy, Trafalgar Law, and the other Straw Hats reach the island Zoe, and that thing is about like what over a thousand years of age, I believe, from what I heard, and that was pretty shocking. An elephant having an island on its back. It's like an animal having the island on its back, you know? Like I made that reference a little while ago, and I will say it again. A lion in the King of Thieves, if you ever watched that, if you ever watched it as a kid, you know? Dang, dude. Pretty shocking and surprising. Don't know what's gonna happen, but we're on to another adventure, that's for sure. So, what's gonna happen next is all up to the manga. All up to the manga author. So, I'm just gonna leave it at that, people. Chapter came out pretty cool. Uh, it came out, it had to go out slow, it had to go out slow the way it had to be, which I'm really glad because, like, um, best to have a couple things going, and I forgot to mention that this white beard kid, self-proclaimed, is a Shijibukai, one of the seven warlords of the sea, and I'm thinking in my mind, you gotta be kidding me, and I forgot to mention he's got 480 million berries or something, and I'm thinking in my mind, dear lord, what the hell is going on, don't know what's gonna happen, but... It's going to get crazy from here on out. I'm just going to leave it here, people. I'll see you guys later. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.